Backcountry snowboarding has brought me to some of the most amazing places I can ever imagine. This is why I do it. Mother Nature charges my batteries up, feeds my soul, my spirit. I'm so thankful for it. Our goal is to try to capture that essence and create sequences that involve beautiful scenery, which is going to be all around, and awesome snowboarding. We are filming Driven the next high-caliber snowboard movie. Brought to you by award-winning cinematographers, the Pirate Movie Crew. Hold on to your seats, because this is the how to create an epic snowboard action film. Man, the most beautiful thing about snowboarding and chasing mountains is your plans always change. Weather redirected us, and now we're in Russia. Kamchatka, I've always wanted to be here. I didn't know what to expect. All the boys and their toys get picked up in these giant trucks and then come out to this lodge in a really remote location with a cathedral of mountains. We like to capture shots that have a blank canvas. No footprints in it, no other lines. It's your first time riding down. It might be perfectly set up. It looks beautiful for the cameraman, but our job is to test the snow, so. Initially, we get out of the heli, we feel the snowpack. Sometimes we'll dig a pit, look for weak layers in the snow, and just get an idea for how it's gonna ride. We try to be as safe as possible out there. Additionally, you take photos on your way up or at the bottom to memorize the line. <sighs> Looks so fun. I got a nice line picked out, just a fun, playful little spine right here. Snakes on down next to this rock, couple bushes in there. Gigi son over here about to ride an epic line. Look at all this. Yeah, bro! Woo! Woo! And we're about to shred. It's incredible how lines change depending on your perspective. Like when you're at the bottom, it's always like, oh yeah, I can do that, I can do that. And then when you look at it from the top, you're like, wow, I can't see anything on this. Everything looks way bigger. Sometimes that's the case. Gigi, the snow is pretty good. Definitely sprays up some high performance snow. It's, it's great. And so it's really important to visualize, be comfortable with what you're going to do, knowing where to turn, knowing what your reference points are, and uh, most importantly, not getting lost. Oh man, this place is so magical. The terrain is so fun, so beautiful. Bad first day. Come chuck it, baby. We got salmon and caviar on the back bench. We don't even matter. We got patch stacks and cash. Cause there's gonna be a heli waiting to pick up our ass. Come Chatka is the land of volcanoes and wind lips. And for us, natural features are the holy grail. You know, when you're able to hit something naturally that Mother Nature creates, that's like the magical shot. I mean, personally, I search for big gaps or something where you have a lot of air time. Yeah, we are ready. We are waiting for the wind to calm down here. It looked pretty big. We weren't sure how much speed to carry. We thought the landing was gonna be really hard because there was a heavy headwind, wind tunnel just whipping straight up. But it was too perfect. It was too perfect not to hit, not to go for. So we had to rock, paper, scissors to identify a guinea pig. <laughs> Shot. When you're hitting a big gap first, I relate it to something that I've done in the past and kind of look at the similarities and then just kind of visualize, go over it many times in your head, drop in here, you're gonna take speed, you're gonna set up, you're gonna blast over all right into the perfect pocket. Boom, it's easy to mind shred. Not so easy to make it a reality. Three, two, one. If you land your trick first time, it's a magical feeling. 
Yeah, man. It's a little wild. I could do it better. I could do it way better, or I could do more tricks. Yeah, man. Stomp. Woo. Heavy wind. Yeah, it's coming straight offshore. We kind of got closed out on this jump because of this heavy headwind. We had it the whole time, but just after like an hour, it got super strong. So we headed to the ocean, which had been on our shot list from the beginning. Party line, all three musketeers, ocean in the background. So beautiful. I love this place. Kamchatsky, I love you. Yeah, bro. When it comes to making a cinematic snowboard film, lighting is everything. So we aim to shoot right when the sun's going down or coming up. It always offers the best golden light and makes for the best shot. Up, the pirate crew takes us on their bucket list shoot. We're snowboarding through an active volcano. 